Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Matt. I'm Ralph. I'm Megan. I'm Grandpa. I'm Daniel. I'm Kelly. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of stuff on the farm. But one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back everyone, it's so nice to see you. Right now I'm in the germination greenhouse. I wanted to come up here and just check on how everything was growing, make sure nothing was dried out. For the most part, everything looks great. I did stop for a moment to look at our beautiful peppers that we've got seeded. A few different varieties, we have some ghost peppers, we have some Italian sweet bell peppers, we also have some, what was that, mixed bell? Jalapeno, cubanelle, and red habanero. Now this is just our first seeding of peppers. This is gonna be for sales, so what we're gonna end up doing is transplanting these into packs, but it's nice that we have some vegetables in the greenhouse. I mean, we already did have vegetables in the greenhouse. We've got onions in here. We all, we've also got a few other things, but for now, it's looking really good. Back up, or sit down, that works too. This chicken is putting in work. Big ol' egg, is it you? Oh, you gotta raise. Looks good. Daniel got the cattle all taken care of. He got them their silage and then fed them. And while he was doing that, I worked my way over to the chickens and got the eggs collected. It doesn't seem that they need to be fed this morning, so we're just gonna leave it like that. Good morning, girls. I'm uh, gonna take my daily morning walk through the chickens just to get them a little more comfortable. I think it's been going relatively well. I wonder how they felt about the rain that we've been getting this morning. It's not gonna rain all day, but it started this morning and it was a pretty heavy rain for about 30 minutes it is starting to slow down now now so it just rained enough to get everything soaking wet which will make working a lot more fun it's okay chickens it's okay they're beautiful birds that's for sure i'm not even moving stop scaring yourself Alrighty, there is one thing we do have to grab for these chickens this morning we do need some calcium to help with uh, their shells so we're gonna grab that and put it into our little feed bowl over there. These hanging feeders are nice for when you add certain things like the calcium. Now the chickens obviously uh, produce plenty of calcium for themselves with the shells on the eggs. We do like to just supplement a little bit because if the chickens are lacking uh, in any way, uh, they'll be able to just fill up on those needs. Uh, we put it in each and every one of our chicken pens and it's always worked out for us and it's made those eggshells nice and hard. That way they're not cracking as you're collecting and the chickens aren't cracking them whether they're pecking them or walking over them. No escaping. Back up. Back up. No escaping. It's like carrying a bag of concrete on your shoulder. This thing's heavy. This is what it looks like. They just come over it whenever they need it, pick it up, eat it up, and there they have their calcium. Very good for them, very, very good. I got all that calcium dumped in for the chicken, so they are taken care of, and that's gonna finish up animals this morning. Dad got the calves all taken care of. They were just over with the cattle, moving some of them around. Um, we had a few cattle in one pen that need to be moved to another. That's now all finished and taken care of. Before we head up top, I am just gonna make my way into the greenhouse show you something that we got finished with yesterday and here you have it uh we were able to get all the baskets hung up in this greenhouse and when you look down through the aisles you realize that's a 
That's a lot of baskets. Not only did we get a lot hung up, we were also were able to bring down a few loads and just store them here. The big reason for that is because the girls were running out of room in the upper greenhouse. And if the girls want to continue working, well, then we're going to have to pull the baskets away. So we've got this greenhouse hung up completely with baskets. We've got that far table lined all the way down. And now we've been moving on to this table here. What makes these greenhouses nice is that the sides roll up. So when we do need to pull the baskets back out, we can just roll the sides up and pull them out and transfer them to other greenhouses. It's really nice that we can do that. Something we do have to work on is this roll up side is broken. So that's a big job that we need to take care of today. I don't know if I'm gonna be a part of that job. I just remember dad talking about it and how much he wanted to fix it. Right here, see you can see how it sheared off. So we're just gonna have to attach a new piece and then move our railing back into place. And then you can just crank the side up and then you have access to the greenhouse you have access to more airflow and when you see the sides rolled up on the greenhouse you know it's getting real around here that means there is work getting done speaking of work getting done look who we've got here how you doing today ralph oh well, feeling better oh wow beautiful weather huh yeah uh, customers customers <laughs> pally and i are making our way down into the greenhouse because we've got work to do right we got work to do go ahead thank you you're welcome I don't think we have any bubbles today. Today is a zero bubble day, sadly. Flowers? Yeah, flowers. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. So yeah. pretty. Now, if you had seen the last video, you'd know that we had this entire section filled up with baskets, but they had all been taken down. And guess what? The girls are filling it right back up. But the interesting thing is the girls yesterday filled up the last hanging basket for the year. Yeah, we're already done filling pots and transplanting into them. We are gonna have to move on to doing more four and a half inch pots, six inch pots and packs. But for now, hanging baskets are done. Which if you ask me, that's one of those jobs where you're like, is this ever gonna end? But guess what? Yeah, it ended. <laughs> what did you find? Found a pink one. Wow, that's a beautiful flower. Do you like all the flowers? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to keep looking. It doesn't matter how busy you are. There is always time to look for flowers when you're with the boss. What's nice for when you're putting the hangers on these baskets, there's little indents here that these just snap onto. There is a way you have to do it so that the hanger doesn't get all twisted. Then it looks weird. But usually if you just follow it right in a row, it's all set and ready to go. All we need to do is put a tag on top of these. And these are actually ready for sale. I mean, they're gonna need some more time to develop, but you could sell them today. A good rule of thumb in a greenhouse is the larger the plant or the larger the pot, the more it's gonna cost. Usually, cost is dependent on the amount of space that something takes up in a greenhouse so since these take up more room they cost a little bit more and if you have other things that take up even more room well that's going to raise the price still the money that we make by means of these greenhouses is very important it helps to support all the other avenues of work that we have and that's why it's so important for us to work as hard as we do on this job and the price that you'd be paying is based upon everything uh, that went into it time space uh, the ingredients to build all this beautiful stuff, the plant starts that we had to pay for if we didn't start them from seed. There's just a lot of cost that goes into these greenhouses and it's all factored in to the price of the plants. So that usually helps people to understand why certain things are more than others. It's, it usually goes off of space in the greenhouse. So whatever takes up the more space is gonna cost the most. Ralph and I just went down through and put the hangers on these baskets. We then added the tags. So these are ready to be moved out of here. All these baskets along here also need to be moved out. And for the most part, they all need some time release fertilizer added on too. So we should probably get working on that. Right now, Callie is over with Aunt Rhonda. She is working on filling pots. I think for the most part, Callie just hopes they spill dirt so she can play with it. But she is helping out. She is being a big help. I'm just adding some time release fertilizer here. Ralph is still working on tagging some of these baskets. And I believe they're also working on filling up the pot machine because they have some more pots to fill for the girls. The four and a half inch pots for transplanting. They're working on marigolds marigolds are a big thing around here they say marigolds are deer resistant and the fact that deer aren't supposed to eat them but from what i understand deer will eat anything if they get hungry enough that's just 
the fact. And a lot of people around here, the deer are quite the problem when it comes to different types of bedding plants and flowers. They started pouring outside. It gets pretty loud in these greenhouses when it starts to rain like this, but it's really loud. Told you it was loud. Woo! Oh boy. It is not nice out here. I'll stay inside. Show sure everybody how you plant. Everybody in training. Everybody in what are you planting? Marigolds? I'm glad she loves being in the greenhouse so much. When she's a little bit older, she's going to be even more of a big help than she is now. And I think she's really going to enjoy working in the greenhouses. Now I'm all wet. switch jobs around i was putting the fertilizer into the baskets daniel has taken that over i had to run over get callie a drink i am now back and then when i got back the girl said that they needed more 806 packs so we had to fill up the pot filling machine and now i got to fill up the packs we got a few of those trays filled up for the girls and while we were doing that Daniel and Ralph have been adding hangers and tags onto these pots and they've made quite a bit of progress. We've also been carrying down pots for Rhonda. These are tangerine marigolds. Um, we're gonna come through and tag these soon enough. We have a local school that gets a lot of flowers for us. They have like a flower day sale and all the kids can get flowers and take them home to their parents and we provide all the flowers and all the pots for that. So this is what that's gonna be going to. It's pretty neat, you have all the teachers show up, they pick up all these flowers, take them there, and then from what we understand, the kids just love it. Oh man, these are heavy. Somebody watered them too much. This isn't good. <laughs> there is cattle everywhere. Come on, back where you were. Come on. Is there one behind? Yeah, there's a few in there. They must have remembered being in there as calves because a few of them ran in there. Hey. Hey. Out of the sawdust pit. Get out of there. No, don't climb it. Come on. Who left the gate open? <laughs> Come on, Rosie. So this is an easy fix. All we have to do is chain up the gate. Somebody forgot to chain up the gate. Who's in here this morning? Well, I went in first. Matt went in behind me. So I guess we all have to blame Matthew. Matthew, come on! I vote Daniel. There is way too much drama. I wasn't even here. I wasn't here either, so it wasn't any of us. That's good. Yeah, high five, Ralph. Woo! Probably because Ralph wasn't here. That's the issue. Oh, man. I think you're running out of battery. Need more juice. <laughs> it looks like you've been making progress, though. He's just about got it back in place. All we'll have to do is crank this to roll the sides up. So soon it'll be done. You know what, Ralph, and the most famous groundhog in Pennsylvania, Puxatawney Phil have in common? If they see their shadow, they go back and sleep. <laughs> that's what happens. I mean, that's Ralph's nickname, if anybody didn't know, Puxatawney Phil, just the groundhog. We used to call Ralph and Daniel Bert and Ernie growing up. But when they got bigger, we just realized they both looked like Ernie. So we just call them Ernie and Ernie because they're like the same person. Why is Andrew being mean? <laughs> just got our wagon all unloaded and we got it done in perfect time because it is now lunch. So we're gonna head up and eat. Do you wanna know how I can tell it's lunch? No, how can you tell? Where's Matthew at? Does this thing work now? Yeah, well I didn't change the plastic yet. Ah, okay. 
But it works. Yeah. Oh, good. We're gonna be changing the plastic on the side here to let more light through, but now at least the roll up sides work. We just got the call that it is lunchtime, so we're making our way into the farm market. I just had to visit the foot bath first. And there's a lot going on today, so lunch is gonna be a little bit different, uh, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> Who has you? Nobody. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see. Ooh, we got pizza for lunch. Check it out. Now I mentioned there was a good reason for this. At this moment, Grammy is finishing up on getting her one knee replaced. So she had gotten a knee replacement before, she needed another one. So Grammy is gonna be taking it easy. She's been taking it easy, but we're gonna be taking care of Grammy for a little bit. You'll see her around here and there, but she's got a little bit of a recovery ahead of her. But Grammy, she's a tough woman. She's gone through it once already, and I'm sure she'll get through it again. We're proud of you, Grammy. Get, can we get a good job, Grammy, in the comments? That's all we need. Now that we are finished with lunch, we're back to moving plants. I left my hat somewhere. Set it down, can't find it. Oh well, it is what it is. I don't think I'm gonna get a sunburn today. I don't know, Dad, do you think I'm gonna get a sunburn? Andrew, I don't think you're working hard enough to get a sunburn. You hear this guy? You hear this Ralphie boy? You see this Ralph guy, he's like a professional at what he does. Oh, trying to hit me with that, I see. Better settle down. Oh yeah, hit yourself in the face. Grammy just got back from getting her knee replaced, so dad and I got her moved into the house. Now the girls are helping her out a little bit, so she seemed pretty happy. She said she wanted to take a nap, and I told her, I'm like, oh, what else did they cut out of you? They cut your knee and your brain out. Oh my goodness, but she's going to rest up a little bit and just enjoy the rest of her day. Tell her she went in at seven and yeah. came home. She went, in, she went in at seven, she's now home. She walked in with a walker. A tough woman, we gotta be careful of her. So dad just ran to grab a wagon, which we're gonna need to do some repairs on because we have some perennials that we need to transplant. So these few boxes that we have here are all different types of perennials. And you've seen us already like clean up a few pots and plant some others, but we're getting ready to do some more here. Daniel's already getting started here. We've got a lot of pots that we're gonna have to fill and there's gonna be a lot of transplant that needs to be done. And we're having a snack. We got some oranges. I mean, we just had lunch, but come on, oranges are delicious. That's the right way up. What are you planting, Daniel? A perennial. <laughs> Half the times, I don't know which way's up. I have no idea if I'm planting them upside down. <laughs> you, you'll know when they're growing. Sometimes it's just like, which way is up on this? Which way is up on this? Uh, flip it over. That way. That way? Nope. Never mind. Flip it over again. <laughs> that way. Nope. I think it goes that way. I have to look closer. I think it goes that way. I think you're right, especially since there's a little bud sprouting right there. It goes that way for future reference. We got our large wagon all filled up with pots. Dad is now working on our second wagon. And we got to fill some more pots inside, so that's where we're off to. Then we get that other wagon taken care of. Oh, fucker. I tried to eat my bag. Now you saw us using a new type of soil there. That soil is just specifically designed for different types of plants. And for the mums, it just works better. So we're gonna be using the dirt in the black bags over the bale dirt for now, but that's just with the mums. Sometimes we'll do the same thing with, um, when we're starting seeds ourselves, we'll use a different type of soil. So there's only a few times where we'll switch between different types of soil lists and soil mixtures and right now is one of them. And I'm stealing Rhonda's water, so I gotta run. Look at that root base, strong. These ones you know which end is on. Yeah. Let's see what do we got here. We got Silver Mound, Autumn Joy, and Material Girl. I think I will take Material Girl. Look at that. <laughs> this is what our Material Girl will look like. Very nice. What are these things? They're called Material Girl. There are a lot of them in here. I need a haircut. This was the last of the perennials that we had that could go in this pot. We still have uh, one more box over there, but those are called proven winners and they need to be in proven winner pots. So we're gonna stop filling up these for now and move on to those. There 
steering is. We're working on these perennials. <laughs> Look at this one. See how large this is? This is the pot it's supposed to go into. It like literally fills up the pot. That's with no soil and now it's stuck. I can't get it one-handed. Look at that. Wow. We just got finished with planting perennials for the day. Dad is gonna go through and water them. We will then be moving these wagons down into the lower greenhouse. It is gonna be getting a little too chilly tonight. Uh, the weather's really tricked us these past few days. It's been bright, sunny, warm. Well, now that's starting to change. It's getting a little cool. We just got our two wagons backed in here. We weren't able to get them backed in with the side by side, so we had to unhook them and push them in. No big deal. We got plenty of strength here. We're now reaching the end of our work day, and I was just taking some time to feed the cattle. And when you look all the way over on the hill, all the cattle are on pasture. That's what we like to see. That's cheap feed. Eating grass, that's cheap feed. I got grain dumped in for all the cattle. Dad is working on feeding calves. Chickens are all good for the night, and that means animals are finished for the day. I'm home! It's a little quiet in here. Are the babies sleeping or are the babies awake? Boy, Callie's here. Oh, I see Callie's here. Callie has a lot of plants with her aunts tonight, so she's gonna be spending a lot of time with them. She's excited, she's already dressed for the part. Lauren and I have some running around we have to do tonight. We have some things we need to get checked up on. She has a checkup, so there's a lot of running around. So my mom is gonna be down here and then Lauren's mom are gonna be watching the twins together and then Callie is gonna be going to a little party at her uh, aunt's house, so that'll be exciting. I would sit and talk here about dinner, but I've gotta get moving. So this is where we're gonna end the video today. As a reminder, if you've not already, please subscribe if you're new. And if you have not liked the video, it really helps us out and we appreciate it. But guys, we will see you soon. And as always, have a wonderful day. Bye bye